This animated video put together by the developer shows what a $25 million music venue at the Banks is going to look like. It will be built on top of an underground parking garage that's under construction right across Elm Street next to the Bengals Paul Brown Stadium. It's just going to be new energy, new life. Hamilton County Commission President Denise Driehaus says that new energy will be driven by the beat of a new kind of concert space. From what I have been told, uh, we've got a lot of music venues in the area already, but there is this niche market that we're missing. It's going to be a new venue for the marketplace, 4,500 general admission capacity, which is filling a niche that doesn't currently exist here. I spoke by phone today with Rosemary Mooring, who's with Mimi, the business behind the bank's music venue. If you look at the Billboard 100 charts today, and a lot of those acts would probably be playing here in Cincinnati that not may not be because they don't have a venue for it. Mooring mentioned a diverse roster of artists as examples, including Dermot Kennedy, Machine Gun Kelly, Grace Potter, and Vampire Weekend. The music venue, by design, will attract a more younger demographic to the banks. It's, it's being built for that. No seats. Young people like to stand at concerts, uh, and they like certain kind of music. I asked Rehouse if she worries Greater Cincinnati may end up with one music venue too many. Well, I will tell you this, that we've got an industry expert in Memi building the facility. And if this wasn't going to work on the riverfront in Cincinnati, they would have pulled out. Now, in addition to the indoor venue, there will also be an outdoor stage for concerts for up to 8,500 people. Rosemary Mooring with Mimi says the company's goal is to put Cincinnati on the map as one of the premier entertainment areas of the Midwest. Todd Dykes, WWT News 5. Todd